Good morning, everyone. You know, recently we've been talking a lot about um, my concept of a price void. Um, I hope you're learning how to use this. It's a, one of the most powerful concepts that I've taught over the years and obviously discovered for myself many years ago. And discovery basically was why do prices move uh, in a trending fashion or rapidly as they do um, at one time versus another where the price patterns essentially look uh, similar or not, if not the same. And, you know, it does um, tell you a lot about um, the, the market environment at that time, depending on what it does um, or what it doesn't do. So, I mean, a lot of technical analysis concepts revolve around that, meaning uh, you have um, a setup, however that might be, pullback within an uptrend to some reference point of support or whether it's a, a wide range bar or a price void or, you know, a capitulation or, or whatever. Uh, so you have that setup that suggests an outcome, you know, to, to result in something from what you've seen in the past. And then, you know, what it does it do, you know, so that sets up a trade and you... You place that trade and it works out or it doesn't work out. And how do you use that information to continue the process going forward? So in, in this case, you know, we have the wide range bar down that's created the void. And here you can see it on the 30 minute chart. The market's just open, a little late start here today, guys. And what I have mentioned in the past is that these wide range bars, um, when they happen, it happens in different ways. In this way, it happened from a V top type of thing straight down and it recovered. And over here, it's, it went sideways for a while and then broke down and we had this choppy correction. And over here, we had this sideways move that broke and it went all the way back up. And now there's a retest and so on. And so a sloppy type of consolidating potentially top going on here. Now looking at the, the 30 minute chart, well, here's the void. You know, the wide range bars, I told you, the momentum move in a smaller time frame. And I, one of the other points was that the weakest of stocks that are going to follow through with the, the power, in this case of the, the red wide range bar, they're going to stay in the lower third or the lower half. And as it does that, that sideways price action on the daily is some type of structure up and down, you know, breakout failures or breakdown failures on the intraday chart and here's the void above and what we have going on here right we don't know which way this is going to go just yet but it's creating resistance and it's creating support now based on the higher time frame right in this big wide range bar theoretically this should become resistance and roll back over to the downside and break through this support created and then go down to the next level of support. So as traders looking for bigger moves, meaning this setup resulting in a move down to here, we're sitting on our hands waiting for this process to unfold and give us some better clues as to what's happening here. So right now we have a little strength in the market. That's a live bar. Um, and if what we need to see from a bearish point of view right, is it then roll back down here and then eventually we would get a setup to go short. And, and while I'm looking at the futures here, this could be any stock would do it exactly the same way. Um, currency, commodity, it makes no difference at all. So here, you know, the other concept that where we uh, incorporate multiple concepts into a trading plan or analysis is multiple time frames and we have a conflict here meaning you have a daily that's broken trend right it's broken here and potentially rolling over it could go sideways but the weekly is still in an uptrend but it is somewhat in question in that this is how we read momentum momentum without indicators great momentum right the momentum slowed a little bit but still you know that's good it's coming out of a base and here's the pullback. And it, the pullback here was rather deep because it pulled all the way back down to this support area right here, 100% right? retracement. But it's still an uptrend. It made a new high. And now it's pulled back into a point where it should resume going back higher. It doesn't mean it has to. Momentum did slow down here. 
and you can see the distance between the highs and no indicators needed so if this goes sideways here for a little while or maybe it pops up this is how you use candlesticks without caring about names um you know just common sense if it pops up where it rallied and at the end it this turns into you know a green bar that then turns into a red bar down which would make this a topping tail bar well this is going to be down here and you come together with a fantastic shorting opportunity looking for that move now if it does recover the damage and right? so that's another concept recovering the damage from these big red bars and eventually go sideways where this volatility this whippy type of volatility will settle down and get tighter well then we could be going back up higher again so there's a lesson in reading candles and multiple time frames and bringing it into your intraday and it covers retracements and a whole lot of educational stuff for you to put together and look at your charts and it makes no difference what you're trading this could be a penny stock um you know more like as i said it, it could be the euro it could, it could be copper it could be soybeans all the analysis that i've taught for over 25 years comes down to common sense putting together pieces of this technical analysis puzzle to form high probability trading opportunities guys so i got a little bit of a late start today so i'm not going to be able to go over as much as i would want to with you but just what i've showed you here today apply it to whatever you're looking at and things will go well have a great trading day